Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Meteorologist Brian Peters with your weather extreme video for Friday, June the 21st. Happy summer, the official start for summer. Actually, the solstice occurred at 12.04 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Skycam imagery from around our network, and there's a look at the trustful Skycam. Beautiful sunrise shot as we look out over the hills of central Alabama. And another beautiful sunrise shot from Hamilton as we look out over the city up there. Surface high pressure is located just to our northeast, and that is keeping a little bit of an easterly flow. And without the return to a more southerly flow, the moisture stays pretty limited. So I think we see another dry day today in the upper atmosphere. Uh, the little bit of troughiness we've seen over the eastern U.S. is uh, still uh, dying off, as you will, and uh, the upper ridge is beginning to build in a little bit stronger. That's going to be the dominant feature in our weather pattern for the next uh, several days. Temperatures across central Alabama are once again dipping back uh, into the lower 70s for the most part. A few spots, especially across the Tennessee River Valley, getting back into the uh, mid and upper 60s, so uh, almost a coolish morning so far. Moisture in the atmosphere continues to be relatively limited. One of the things we look at is precipitable water, and the precipitable water values are still down around 1.1 inches, so uh, the moisture is very limited, and as a result, uh, we're just not seeing any uh, significant development of daily showers. Uh, you can't rule out an isolated one, but like yesterday, it's going to affect very few people. No isolated thunderstorms going on in Minnesota and Wisconsin. As a matter of fact, a severe thunderstorm watch in that area as that large cluster of thunderstorms moves through their area. QPF-wise, rainfall-wise, for the next uh, five days, we're going to see Basically, isolated to scattered showers, so not everybody's going to get wet. As a matter of fact, most of us probably stay dry, so rainfall amounts will be limited. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk for a large area of the north-central United States on day one. That area stays pretty much focused in north-central U.S. on day two and again on day three. So not much change as the westerlies are a little bit further to the north. And the tropics are quiet once again as the remnants of uh, Barry basically are raining themselves out over southern Mexico. Uh, mentioned precipitable water. There's a look at the precipitable water forecast chart for this afternoon around 4 o'clock. And uh, while it looks like the values are coming up, and indeed they are coming up a little bit, uh, they're still below one and a quarter inches, and that's still pretty significant for this time of year. So the result for our 06Z GFS model run is that we don't expect to see much in the way of showers. Uh, we still have a little bit on uh, Saturday. We still have a little bit of remnants of that uh, little trough. You can see that 588 circle over north Georgia. Uh, and that may help to enhance a few more showers over that way. But indeed, the ridge taking hold. And uh, as a result, again, uh, the showers probably going to be pretty limited on Saturday. Sunday, uh, the ridge is moving in pretty strongly, although we're seeing a few little weaknesses in that ridge. And of course, those weaknesses are going to help to combine with daily uh, afternoon heating to create a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. The ridge the main feature on Monday, and it stays the main feature on Tuesday. And still, even on Wednesday, it's predominantly the main feature. However, by Thursday, we're seeing a change. There's a strong uh, shortwave trough moving out of south-central Canada, and that trough is going to help to are going to dig in across the eastern half of the country. So this is not a hot look for the eastern part of the country. This is actually a relatively cool look for the eastern part of the country as the upper ridge uh, becomes more aligned with the Rocky Mountains on Friday. And, of course, we're still going to be seeing uh, showers, isolated probably, but we are seeing the possibility of a cold front coming into the Ohio River Valley. And so there's some question as to exactly how strong that trough will get and uh, whether or not that front might actually make it down into our area. And, of course, this is the time of year where we just don't see fronts making it down into the southeastern U.S. Uh, that that much. Extending the forecast out into the future, uh, as we head out into Monday, we see that the upper air pattern is indeed uh, that of a... Um, a troughing look over the eastern part of the country, so that looks like maybe even some shower chances. And then when we get out to the end of the period, the uh, uh, troughiness still 
evident across the, the country. So uh, once again, uh, no signs of any extreme heat for us. And by the way, I just mentioned very quickly, there's the uh, European at the end of the period. That is around uh, Friday at 12Z. And indeed, the two models are in very close agreement. So confidence pretty high that we will see that kind of pattern. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Saturday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful Friday. Happy summer and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>